weapons. We can actually trade weapons away if Franco comes. But she's not coming today. It's already past time. Um, so we need some filters. So yeah, if they if they ask, I'll say yes. You can't turn kids away. Come on. Besides, it'll be the first time in 13 playthroughs that I've seen the kids ask to live with me. So I'll say yes just to see what happens. Like just to see if they, you know, how it works. If they just act like normal characters or what. And to see like if they have a story at the end. I don't know. I think that'd be cool. Um, oh yeah. More water. More water, sir. Man, I'm really thirsty today. Sorry, you weren't done. I was just kidding. Sorry. Here we go. And then we're probably going to be done with day 25. And we'll head into scavenge. Of course, we're just sending Boris um, back to the warehouse. I'm going to let Marco stay home. He can guard the everybody else sleep. Since they're both slightly wounded, it gives them a nice break. Oh, you missed some stuff. What'd you miss? Oh no. We'll take that. I don't think we really need to take anything else. And we're just gonna clear this place out. It's nice. This place has quite a bit of stuff. It really is a nice little thing. Okay, so see... Now we can break this down because we have our hatchet with us, and depending on the size of the furniture will depend on what you get from it, like how much wood and how much fuel, but you always get just wood and fuel. If you break down something that has other stuff in it, you won't lose that other searchable stuff. It'll still be there. So if there were books in that desk, and then I chopped it down, there would still be um, a couple more. There would still be books in there. Oh, like, oh, like two of my streams. Oh. Yeah, last night I streamed uh, Far Cry 4. It was the first time I've ever played anything Far Cry. I've never played any of the Far Cry games, and I started Far Cry 4 last night. That was pretty funny. Um, the bad guy creeps me out. I did not, I was, I was not happy with him. And he, like, when he, like, gave my character a hug, I was like, oh my gosh, stop touching me. I feel like I have to go shower. It drives me insane, but it was pretty good. It was pretty good. I might, I might stream it tonight. We'll see how the internet goes. The internet was really screwing up last night. We were having a lot of troubles with it. They're building a house like a couple doors down, and I almost wonder if they're messing with with some stuff. Right now it's still, um, this is still my Kinect for my 360, so it's not the official cam yet. I'm hoping it'll be a little, like, closer when I get the official cam. I don't know. We'll see. But the cam's going well. Everyone seems to like it, so. I told everybody they're, like, stuck with my face forever now. See? Ah, joke's on you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> cam's going good. Cam's a lot of fun. Alright, let's break it down. Break it down. You guys get to laugh at me now when I'm randomly dancing and singing or whatever because now you guys can like see me. 
That's funny. I've had people call it out. They're like, what are you doing? And I'm like, nothing. <laughs> and then the other one we can trade. More meds, man. With 17 backpack slots, and, uh, Boris really does like spoil us with the amount of backpack slots. It's really, really nice. Wow, food. Look at all that stuff. Yeah, he is slow, but, I mean, that's why he's not the first one in. I send, um, somebody else in first, like Marco, to clear it out. And then when it's safe, then Boris goes in, because then it doesn't matter if he's slow, right? Because it's safe, it's clear, there's nothing, you know. But he can carry so much stuff, it's, it's worth it, I think. Although, when I had, when someone asked me what my dream team was, he actually was not on it. Heart. Alright, dropping everything. Oh, my hatchet's almost broken. I'll probably only use it one more time. Run. Um, we won't bother going up there. We're just gonna run straight. That's why it's a little easier for him. He doesn't have to climb up and down anything. Come on. No, no. Where, what, what are you doing, sir? Just open this door right here. There you go. See how nice and easy that was. Ooh, an electric part. We need that. Marco carries more. Marco only carries 15. And Boris carries 17. So they're close, but Boris does carry more than Marco. Um, the difference is that Marco doesn't usually kill, or doesn't care about killing as long as it's a bad guy that you're having him kill, and um, he moves a little faster. That's why I send uh, Marco in first. You can kill him, clear him out, and then little Boris goes in. Wow, more food. We're gonna have like seven cans of food just from this place. It's kind of nice. Oh, all the weapon parts. That makes me so happy. Alright, it's getting late. Let's go back to the stash and decide what we're taking back. And then we'll finish clearing it out. Hopefully in the next night we'll be done clearing it out. At least getting everything into our, um, getting everything into our stash. The skilled scavenger, I looked it up, and the skilled scavenger only means that he has some more slots in his backpack. He doesn't actually find more stuff. I thought he found more stuff, but apparently not. Yeah, he does. Marco has 15, but Boris has 17. If I had to pick just one or the other, I would pick Marco. The night was calm. Oot, oot. First thing we know, it's day 26, even numbered day, everybody eats. We 
we've been having people eat every other day. Um, by doing that, we can stretch out the food so it lasts longer. And with it being every other day, we can stretch it out without having the negative effects um, of, you know, depression and stuff like that. Um, because they never get very hungry, they're only hungry, and therefore they don't get sad, um, and they don't starve. So it's a, it's a nice little little thing. We started using it, someone told us about it, what, three or four playthroughs ago, and we've been using it ever since. Makes a huge difference to the amount of food, especially when you have four people. Huge difference. It's not cold. I made sure to get heat in there for you guys. Goopers. Okay, so. You go do that. There's still no snow. here. We can fix the assault rifle. We can make some bullets. Let's make some bullets and then fix the assault rifle. Oh wait, you don't have to make anything yet. Just kidding. Go and create that. What are you doing? You're tired. Go to bed. We can make the guitar. We're gonna keep this guitar. The one that we left, well, Actually, let's trade this guitar because there is one back at the um, warehouse that we can trade. We know it's there. So let's just go ahead and trade this one since the guy's here today and uh, we'll get the other one and fix the other one. Unless he just doesn't really have anything that we want. We can use the assault rifle. We'll have some guns to trade. Look, we have food, we have plenty of food, and that will come in like two more days, and then we can make a crap ton of food, so that's nice. We're good on food. Um, but we only have one of those left, that'll be alright. For crying out loud, it's dangerous outside. Yep. Oh, we left our weapon parts. We used them all up. Well, that's okay. It's all right. We'll be fine. This, I mean, the playthrough really started out difficult, um, but I think we've really pulled it around. Um, if you guys are interested in seeing how the playthrough started exactly and how we've gotten here, scroll down to the bottom of the page and hit that blue banner that says YouTube. It'll take you to my YouTube channel and just look at the playlist. Um, that is the football player, the cook, and the scavenger. And that, that'll show you from day one exactly what we did. Um, it also has other playthroughs there if you're interested on tips and tricks and various things like that. We've done, I don't know, like 13 playthroughs or something. Not all of them are up there, but there's a good number up there. Sneak something in. 